Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Saka here, and welcome back to another episode of Motorsport Manager. When we last left off, we took to the streets of Singapore and did really, really poor. 13th and 15th, no points, a lap down and almost a lap down. I tell you, those Ferraris and Mercedes, they're fast indeed. But three races to go this season, and we are going to Sydney, Australia, usually the first round of uh, the Formula One championship in Melbourne, I believe it is. Uh, but we've got the gearbox, absolutely crucial. The front wing, crucial. And a useful engine for high top speed, a high tire wear and a medium fuel burn. So I'm thinking maybe softs this race. Just stick with the tried and true what we know. And we have some uh, dodgy parts to build. We're almost done with that engine. And car repair is finished. I don't know if there is anything else left to improve. No, there isn't, so we'll flip uh, Toby with, now let's keep Toby on the part improvements, but just tomorrow we've got another part done right there. Almost engine is done. And we've also got two offers in slot four. We'll keep that for one more and no work in progress. So was this a dodgy engine? Let's see, no. It wasn't dodgy at all. Nice. So let's get Toby over there to repair that engine. And uh, we're not working on any engine. So let's go ahead and let's see the gearbox and front wing. Let's take off the brakes and work on that engine 88 days after the race. Meh. I mean, we're doing what we can. We need to get that engine in service as fast as possible. And uh, engine build is finished. So. What do we want to do as far as parts are concerned? Um, let's see, suspension, what are we the lowest on? Is it the gearbox? Seventh, fourth, sixth, fifth, fourth, fifth. Yeah, it looks like the gearbox needs some love, so we'll go ahead and work on the gearbox. Uh, let's see, 25 to max acceleration plus 15 with a risk level one, that's fine. Uh, 35, red zone minus 10. I like that acceleration plus 40 though. So we'll take that. We're not going to plan on putting this thing into service. So because it's dodgy, we want to give it the most acceleration possible. Uh, let's say acceleration plus 50. That didn't actually do anything. Oh, on softs, supers and ultras. I see, I see, I see. So when it's dry out, we'll get that bonus. And then reliability, acceleration plus 35. Yeah, we'll do that in 1918, which should be a um, yeah extremely risky part. But like I said, we're not going to put it on the car. We're going to stuff this suspension away or this gearbox away for next year. Yeah, it's a two million dollar part. It better be worthwhile, I say. All right, politics vote. What are we voting for? All right, points awarded to the top six. Oh yeah, we were going to vote for it, and we're going to use just one voting power. We'll vote for it, so we might be able to get some uh, points for lower finishes here. And indeed, that passes with flying colors. So next season, the top six will be getting points. As of now, I think it's the top five. So some extra points for us indeed. All right, three sponsors. Let's see who wants to pay our bills. So two two stars, a million and a half for 11 races. Nine races, I mean, it's almost better to do EVE technology, but since we are building uh, shoddy parts, we'll take the two race hit to get some upfront monies to continue to build uh, shoddy parts going into next year. At the end of this race, we'll have two more sponsors open up, and before... Uh, the next race, or after the next race at Rio, we'll have another spot open up, and then we'll have another spot open up um, right at the end of the year. So I believe we can keep on pumping out uh, parts. Uh, I love the test track, but with a few upgrades. Well, I'm not upgrading our facility. Cars are more important right now. We have to get to the point where we can win races. All right, Adelie. Good job, Adelie, going to Phoenix. All well and good. Reliability work is done right there, right before Sydney, so we can go ahead and bolt on that brand new engine. Sweet. So one week left for Nikolai and his dodgy neck, so he'll be okay for the last two races of the year. Um, let's go ahead and do the... 
I mean the tenth or above is where we're where we're aiming. Let's get a few super softs in here, and then yeah, let's do six. I tell you, this would be a lot more difficult if we have to worry about qualifying, but luckily we don't. So we can pretty much just do half and half. Now let's get that engine fitted, shall we? So our engine number one. Oh, okay. So that is a dodgy part. All right, my mistake. Um, see, do I want to risk it for a biscuit? It's really not going to help in the grand scheme of things. I think we're too far back, and I don't want to lose any perspective finishes that we can do. So we'll leave that uh, engine ready to go, but not run it. So I will see you after practice. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Sydney, and a very productive uh, practice session indeed. Excellence all the way around. I'm going to do the split strategy where Rick DeGraff is going to be on super softs the whole race, and Nikolai will be on softs the whole race. Uh, thinking that it may work out for us, we will just have to take a look-see. Um, but we've got some work to do. We'll see if we can make a mountain out of a mole here, mole hill here, with uh, a good start and some interesting strategy. All right, so let's speed these guys up and get their tires in a decent temperature and then lay back as we can. I'm expecting uh, Rick to start making some moves uh, with those super softs. And you can see the field is about half and half. Some are starting on regular softs, others are on supers, and that's a, about what we expected. What I didn't expect is for Nikolai Surikov to be holding off the pack uh, on those uh, regular soft tires. There we go, a bottleneck into uh, three. Rick DeGraff makes up some spots. He's on the inside making up some very good moves here. And no rain in the forecast, uh, just Giving it a glance, we're good through lap 14. So this first stint will definitely be on slicks, and I'm not anticipating anything big coming our way as far as precipitation is concerned. All right, now that the super softs are in temperature, I'll tell Rick to hold back as he charges the outside. I'll keep Nikolai on a push to get the, keep the tires in the middle of the field. And Rick is making some moves. We're in the top five with Rick. He will probably have to make an extra pit stop, however, but this seems to be the Ferrari and Mercedes strategy to get on super softs and just make them last forever. So we are going to try to do such things as these. You can see we're about 10% uh, used up on the supers. Um, pretty good tire wear comparatively uh, to the supers. Going for that fourth place. There goes Rick powering to the inside. There you go. Nice. So if we can try to gap just a little bit, we'll be fine. All right, Nikolai is within temperature range. We'll just tell him to run a moderately conservative pace here. But everyone is in a pretty tight pack. Just 10 seconds separates the leader from 20th place. Of course, a nice um, full course caution would be very nice for us. So it looks like we can go about eight laps. So we are on the earlier side of tires uh, projected was eight to ten laps on the super softs it looks like we can go about eight so for the tire planning and strategy uh, it looks like we are going to be on the early side so yes rick can go ahead and pit for your super softs uh, we only need a little bit of fuel uh, let's go about right there with a nice balanced pit stop so we'll keep him pushing throughout this lap nikolai we're going to keep him nice and conservative. Stramby crashed. Oh, man, that sucks for Stramby. So only uh, 19 cars running now, and we are pitting amongst the leaders. It looks like they are on a very similar strategy to us, which is all well and good. Hey, Nikolai, we're going to need you to uh, pick up the pace just a little bit. And there goes the pit crew down and away. Ten laps in the tank, and we can run a neutral. So Rick DeGraff has come out amongst other cars. One decided to do softs, the other decided to do super softs as well, Cavalcanti. So Nikolai running in eighth. On the other side of the track, there's a whole gaggle of uh, cars that are pitting. Let's try to go one more lap after this, pit on lap 11. Should be fine. And uh, we'll see where all this shakes out. We are the leader on, the strat on this particular soft strategy, which is to be expected. 
All right, come down next time there, Nikolai, for your next set of softs, and it's lap 10, so we'll only need about 11 laps of fuel in the tank. Keep it nice and light, and uh, begin your pit stop. So Rick is up to 12th. After those rounds of pit stops, it looks like uh, temperature is starting to drop just a skosh. We'll have him push just a bit. Nikolai can continue to push. He's in a tight battle with Fox, the Ferrari. And it looks like Ferrari is pitting their first car, Hashimoto, uh, this time around. So we'll be on pit road with the Ferrari. And here goes Rick DeGraff. Should be screaming down pit road. Luckily, Nikolai is down and away in 16th place with fresh soft tires. All right, so we'll see how this race unfolds. We still, as you can see, this is where we're sort of getting beat. Uh, they can gap us by a bit. If they put on soft tires, they can go the distance on those soft tires. And like I said, next year, our car will be strictly focused on tire wear because I am tired of running out of tires before everyone and having to make an extra pit stop. That's uh, I'd rather give up a little bit of time putting in fuel than an entire trip down pit road. Doesn't seem conducive at all, but we are within our sponsor objective. Leader is on pit road. Looks like Ibarra has inherited the lead. Rick will come up to third place and Nikolai will be running in 12th. Is he still in touch? He's about 12 seconds back. So this strategy is paying off the running the super softs and making an extra pit stop perhaps. We'll see where it shakes up in the grand scheme of things, but we're crossing the halfway point of this race right here. Uh, we can't go all of the way on one stop, although that would be ideal. Perhaps Nikolai can go, yeah, if Nikolai can go a few more laps, uh, he can maybe bolt on super softs for his last stint of the race. So Rick fighting valiantly in third. We'll have him pit next time by, next time by. For your super softs. Once again, another eight laps is really all he can run. So let's keep it nice and light. And a go. And Rick don't have to really worry about much of anything riding up in third. This seems uh, pretty spot on, minus the fact that we are surrounded by guys on super softs that have a lot better tires than us, that is for sure. Nikolai back here running in 12th. We can have him go neutral and save those soft tires. 12 laps to go. We're on pit road. Looks like we can do a six and a six. Oh, mistake fueling. What's the matter? Couldn't find the hole? That's, uh, that's embarrassing. How do you mess up fueling? Like once it starts, does the can like slip out of the hand of the fueler? Like, what, what is a fueling mistake? That I do not know, but Rick is back in 18th, Nikolai up at 211th, just out of our sponsor objective, but moving up now that pit stops are commencing. And yeah, looks like we can go just one more stop for uh, Nikolai. Let's have him push all the way out here. And uh, since Rick will have to pit again, let's just have him push. See if he can make up uh, some time. We won't have to pit for much fuel, however. Yeah, we'll let the, the race sort of come to us. Either way, we are pitting one more time apiece for the drivers, but Surikov is on uh, one stop less, and the further he can go on these soft tires, the better his soft tires will be at the end. So nine laps to go, 34%. I think he can actually go an extra lap. I want to keep him out as long as possible so his softs will, one, <clears throat> last the entire race, and two, he'll have some grip in those tires for the end. No rain in the forecast, so we're not going to get jumped. Yes, we should pit soon. Nikolai, come down for your last stop of the race. All right, seven laps to go. There you go. 11 seconds left of fuel and pit. All right, so Nikolai will be pitting this time. Rick will be probably pitting the time after that. Split this run into six and six. Of course, he'll be on the super softs as that is his performance boost. And we might be able to push those tires just a little bit more. Hat can't get past Strangolisi. Well, that's your problem. All right, tires are on. 
And there we go. Rick is, Nikolai is down and away in 11th with pretty fresh tires. So Nikolai might actually pass uh, Rick here. We will have to be on pit road, let's just say next time, to get the most out of these tires. Six laps to go, 30%. Pit next time by, please, for your super softs. And we only need to put in just a skosh, eight seconds worth of a pit stop. Get him down on pit road and away as much as possible, and Nikolai can continue to push these tires. That is where his bonus is. So maybe he can get into the sponsor objective if Rick cannot get his way back up. It looks like these guys are not going to come down pit road anymore. Um, so unfortunately, our tire wear is not conducive to the all go, no quit, fast, mistake on the rear, the rear left. Uh, that's disheartening. Well, Rick can push, uh, but he isn't exactly in a prime place. So it's going to be up to Nikolai to maintain our sponsor objective. We're three seconds behind ninth and six seconds clear of the Ferrari, which is good for bragging rights. Four laps to go, 73% on the tires, and Rick is going to continue to push. I don't know if he can make up any spots. For Rick, maybe we should have went with just uh, regular softs on the last pit stop. But three laps to go, definitely pushing hard here. We've got 66% on these tires, and we are gaining on De La Fuente, who is burning his super softs like crazy. We're actually still within a good temperature range with Nikolai. Hopefully he can do a, a twofer and get that pass. Two laps to go for the leader. Once we come around to two to go, we will turn on high on the fuel burn. So we'll get into passing mode here. Yeah, 50 and 49% with one to go. I'm going to turn up the turn up the push. And Nikolai is right there, but he cannot get around. Yeah, there you go. Push, 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 push. Attack, overtake. And attack, overtake there, Rick. And do everything you can. 26% on the tires. We're getting everything we can out of these tires. Nikolai is pushing hard against Limpinen, who has made three pit stops. I don't think he's going to get there unless these guys tussle. But we are within our sponsor objective. There we go, seventh. Nice pass right at the line. And uh, Rick DeGraff will come across in 12th with a strong battle right here in traffic. That extra pit stop is what did us in. Man, how did Lippinen make three pit stops and still clear us by 20 seconds? That is just insane. But, of course, Mercedes with the win, as uh, Mercedes do. But we didn't risk the parts. That'd be cool if a few people in front of us cheated and uh, Nikolai can get up a few spots, make some points. In a perfect world, that would be ideal. Yeah, they went 11 laps on their soft tires, 11 laps. We need to get better tire wear. That is what I'm seeing, especially if we keep the drivers we have. And I think we have good drivers. It's just their form is garbage. They come into a race feeling ho-hum, haphazard, 5 out of 10 form. Ah, So 7th and ninth still in the points. 5th place still in the points, solid. Only 3 points behind Katano. If we can get a lucky break... And pass Katano in these final two races. That would be cool. Maybe we can luck out and uh, get a track where the engine is ideal. And, you know, maybe our drivers actually won't have a cold. And I'm looking forward to Nikolai getting out of his neck brace. Uh, his fitness allows him to go further during these races with better form. So once he gets away from his dodgy neck, he'll be able to become the closer and start closing out some of these races. Um, even still with the dodgy neck, he's a nine fitness, so getting that neck brace off will do wonders. We hit our target objective, only lost 500 grand that race, still $10 million in the bank with two races to go. Good job, Ibarra. It's all the car, man, it's not the driver. He lied. It's probably a bit of both. But we've got some mail to take care of, and next race is Brazil. 
and it looks like we're in store for a rainy cluster. So it's going to come down to tire strategy, I believe. In the next event, we'll do the interview. Which one of your drivers is better? Yeah, Nikolai, sure. Oh, nice, it boosted his morale. He's feeling, he's feeling better about himself. That's what he needed. Cool. And uh, two mistakes. Uh, hopefully our, our pit crow, I thought our pit coach would be doing much better than that. We have next to last worst pit crew on the grid. But what can you do? Um, we're sitting exactly where we told our manager we would be, which is awesome. Two races to go, and Rio looks to be engine, suspension, and rear wing, and maybe some rain. So we might be on some enters, we might be on some wets, but you'll just have to tune in to see. But that will do it for me. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next episode of Motorsport Manager. Take care.